well, it seemed like a good day. The weather was clear, the clouds parted, and I just came right in. So I, I think it's a great day to start. And I think, what is it today? Is um, uh, the 12th? Is it the 12th today? Good tea off time. And uh, I think I'm going to start early this, this time through, and I think it's going to be very, uh, I think a very interesting contest, hopefully. And if I get the nomination in the Republican Party, it's going to be a, a very interesting situation. I call it unfinished business. I call it, uh, for West Virginia, we're going to have a campaign on education. And I think it's going to be a thrilling campaign. I'm looking forward to it. What exactly are you campaigning on specifically? I think there's a lot of things to campaign on. We have a president that is an absolute disaster, a failed disaster, and we have a senator that seems to support that disaster. Uh, he has voted uh, with Obama over 85 percent of the time. So I think it's a bad uh, experiment for West Virginia. Certainly uh, the last time he went through, I called him a rubber stamp, and he didn't let me down. And when you look at his votes on Obamacare, uh, a situation like that is intolerable. When you look what he did here in the state of West Virginia as far as House Bill 103, it is something that has hurt our coal business all across the state of West Virginia. We've done nothing to rescind that. So a candidacy for me is about education. We're going to talk a lot about the issues and what this man has done and what he hasn't done in Washington. And the fact that I feel that we are a great state, we are a great country, I'm in business all across the United States, I think we can do better. I think we have to get rid of certain people in the White House to make that happen. I think that people in West Virginia have to understand that we have a wonderful state full of all the natural resources in the world, and we can be one of the greatest, greatest part of capitalism that this country's ever seen. But we're going to have to change leadership, and I think it's time to do it right now. The wealthy out-of-state business stuff worked against you the first time. It worked against Bill Maloney last, you know, a couple months mm -hmm. ago. Are you afraid it's going to work again against you? Well, I don't know how I'm out of state, uh, first of all. Uh, our, our companies, uh, Jim Troy right back there is my CFO. Uh, our, country, or our companies have been doing business in West Virginia uh, since 1905, and we were established in 1917. And coming up uh, in a few years, we're going to have over 100 years of business here in West Virginia. I certainly don't have to explain myself about all the capital investment that we have here in West Virginia because it is something that we're very proud of, and I think that you all know what, we, what we've contributed and certainly the tax base that we've contributed to the state of West Virginia, the many jobs that we've contributed here, and I'm very proud of it. And uh, when you see a little five-second blurb from a political candidate that has never experienced the private sector like I have, uh, I sometimes have to wonder about him. Where have you been all this time? What have you been up to? Um, you well, were supposed to be at a 4th of July event. You didn't go. I, I don't know what 4th of July event that was. I usually uh, have 4th of July at my house. But I, um, to me, uh, I've been working. And I'm like about everybody else. I have a steel company out in Ohio, in the Ohio Valley, that uh, needs my attention. Uh, we have great lime works, L-I-M-E works in Pendleton County, West Virginia with big rotary kills. Certainly you know that I'm in the media business, I'm in the limestone business. Somebody has to run these things and I said that's primarily what I'm doing. I'm not a professional politician, I've been through this before, but it's something that I don't do on a daily basis. Maybe that's good, bad or ugly, but I'm not the consummate politician like a Bill Clinton who's sitting out there hammering it every day. I think this is a great opportunity for me, it's a great opportunity I think for a lot of people that believe in capitalism in the state of West Virginia and in America, that somebody from the private sector would stand up and say, we're going to get some things done around this country and we need to do them now. And uh, I don't think that we have uh, an 11th hour that we have to wait for. The 11th hour is here right now. I know that you're running against Joe Manchin, uh, but with that said, he's often portrayed as a conservative, conservative mm -hmm. Democrat, conservative nonetheless. Uh, there are some newspapers and media mm -hmm. outlets nationally that still speculate that he could still flip a Republican or at least want him to. Right. Uh, I know Obama's going to be at the top of the ticket, um, but it seems like you have been through all this before. Right. So what are you going to do differently? Well, I, I think Joe Manchin likes to say he's conservative, but when you look at what he does in Washington versus what he says back here in West Virginia, they're two different things. When you support the president, uh, President Obama, 85% of the time, I wouldn't exactly call that being a conservative. When you support Obamacare, when he had a chance to repeal it, like he told everybody in West Virginia that he would do, and then he goes to Washington and does the exact opposite. That's turning over 20% of our economy to the federal government. That's what Joe's for. That's not a conservative. That's not Ronald Reagan. That's a socialist because Obamacare is unadulterated socialism. That's all it is. 
And that's what Joe Manchin voted for. He had a chance. He let West Virginia down. If I have the opportunity, I'm going to repeal it as fast as I can. Thank you all very much.